What's your perspective on internships and in music? Because I hear a lot of people, you know, it's a, it's a different day and age and people sometimes don't talk about not wanting to do internships in music. Uh, some people say the way they've gotten treated. I know there's various experiences, but what's your insight and experience with internships and in music? I feel like internships are, it's, it's kind of like, I put it to you like this. I believe in paying your dues. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I believe in proving that you that you want, right? So right. like I'm a part of a fraternity, right? I'm, a, I'm an alpha, you know what I'm saying? So gotcha. I played so I came into the mentality of someone that had pledged was the worst thing ever I had ever been through to be like, oh this is nothing. Like you want me to go get coffee? Okay, that's nothing. You want me to, you know, go print something? Oh, this is nothing. And I always believe that, you know, that's how you separate internships to me are how you separate the people who really want it and the people that kind of want it. Mm. You know, I feel like that is a you know because at the end of the day, it to me I was in it because I I love music, hip hop to be specific, but I was in it because this is what I want to do in my life, not because I wanted to hang out with artists or just be having dope Instagram moments. Like no, I really want to be a part of this, right? Mm -hmm. So me personally, I believe that internships are a great indicator to kind of see like okay, if we hire this person. They're going to give it 110 nonstop every day. And as an intern, that's what I did. Like, you know, I had, I want to say I had a total of four internships, you know, up until landing my first job in the mailroom. It was the first job. So, you know, every internship, I learned something new. But um, every internship, I was able to just, you know, be able to really hone in on the fact of just grind, like pure grind, like first one in, last person to leave type of grind, like no matter what, MJ's gonna do it. You know, and I have that mentality to me right now, like no matter what, I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? And I had to do some crazy tasks, but I did it and I made it happen. What's the craziest task that you can think of off top? As an intern or just as an assistant? Whichever one's worse. I, oh my, I have so many, bro. Um, Let me, the craziest task I think I ever had to do. Off top, and it is just is at the top of my head. I think back to last year. It was like my first year at Def Jam, and we was throwing this um this event. We had signed all these new artists, mm -hmm. and we was doing like a Grammy Week showcase for these artists, right? And we had like all these boxes of merch, and we had this huge like. Dev Jam tone arm and like alcohol. We had a lot of things that need to be transported from the office to the venue. Mm -hmm. Well, the people that was putting it together never thought or how this was going to get from the office to the venue. So <laughs> everyone was like freaking out, like, yo, like, can you put this? Like, no, it's not going to fit no more. This stuff is huge. Mm -hmm. So within the 11th hour, I say, yo, me just being country from the south, I'm like, yo, I'm going to go get a U Haul truck. So I go get a U-Haul truck, put everything in the U-Haul truck, and drive on the highway, on the 405, in traffic with boxes of merch, alcohol, to this venue, right? Yeah. And to me, I was just like, yo, like, this is the, like, I'm literally driving a U-Haul truck. <laughs> like, this is the craziest thing ever, like, yo. And, and that was, like, one of the things that sometimes you just got to do to get the job done. And it separated you. Yeah. I said, and, and that's a part of what separated you. Just small, just thinking small things that, that get it done like that. Yeah, exactly. Because we couldn't find a moving truck in time. It wouldn't fit in the car. I was like, yo. And I was like, yo, who's going to drive a U-Haul truck? And I, and I volunteered to drive a U-Haul truck. Like, you got to think of U-Haul trucks are kind of huge. And yeah, I, I especially in LA. Yeah, and, and I was just like, yo, I don't know how to, like, you got to be a certain type of driver to drive any type of truck. <laughs> oh, you were driving one of those big U-Hauls. Yeah, keep in mind, I've been driving a Kia Rio for like two years. So you're <laughs> Rio. Okay, yeah, yeah. For you, oh, that, was, yeah, that was a huge jump. <laughs> yeah. You know, but I, I, did, I did what I had to do, and I did what had to be done. Um, and another, I got another great story, too. So you know how Puff has this, um, this, this story about the cheesecake? It's like this, this infamous 
story about the cheesecake, right? Yeah. So that same weekend, maybe like the night before, we had an artist whose birthday was at night, and they wanted to get her an ice cream cake at nine o'clock at night, right? Yeah. Most stores are closed, and so like I'm running around Hollywood trying to find an ice cream cake, right? So when you drive in Hollywood, like parking is the toughest thing to find, right? Yeah. So I literally park across the 101 freeway and run across the freeway just so I can go get the ice cream cake and then run back without getting hit. Man. Got the ice cream cake, the girl was happy that she got the cake. But it was just one of those things that like, in this business, you know, and the story sounds super crazy. Like when I tell you stories, it sounds super crazy, yeah. but it was just at that point in time and still now, I was willing to do whatever it is to get the task done. I feel you. Ow.